Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, I don't know what happened with my software. It just went uh, crazy and stopped working. And I really apologize for that. I don't know what happened. And I made sure that everything is ready, but I apologize for making you wait for those 11 minutes. I apologize and I'm sorry about that. And thank you so much for staying in and uh, I appreciate you and I appreciate you staying here. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Saad Basim. I'm an Amazon active seller. I help people in their journey with Amazon FBA. What, no matter what uh, their business model is, I'll be able to help them in it. And also thank you so much for joining me today. Today is another Saturday, a beautiful Saturday with another live Q&A, which is going to be only dedicated for live Q&A. I don't have any subject for you today, so I wanna give the, uh, the room um, and the space for you guys to ask me the question. I'll be able to answer them. And I hope you are guys uh, already in the 100K challenge. I don't see a lot of people who joined in the, in the link below uh, to join the monthly contest and to commit to their 100K challenge. If you're new to the channel, it's basically we are having a commitment to uh, to start the year very strong and make sure that we are uh, get to 100K by the end of the year and we will measure our uh, success by the end of the year, uh, which is going to be a community thing, a YouTube uh, community, all of us. We're dedicating our time to make sure we make a difference and make sure that we are really uh, doing well and uh, make 2020 better than 2019 or 2018 and start on a serious note. And at the same time, my challenge to myself is that I would like to get to 10K. Actually, subscribers are really going a little bit faster than usual, so I appreciate you. And if you find this channel, you find me that I'm providing good uh, content, please go ahead and share the video, share the channel to other people so they can subscribe. Uh, so if you're not yet in the 100K challenge, go ahead and subscribe in the link below and you'll be able to get the chance to win the monthly contest that we have, which is really valuable and a lot of good freebies for you guys. So um, please, by the meantime, please do you mind if you just ask me all the questions so I'll make sure that I am, I will answer them at the end. I mean, I'll answer them during our Q&A. Uh, but before we do that, let me see what we have. We have uh, Nancy. How you doing, Nancy? Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we have Pernella. Pernella, how are you? I hope everything well with you. We have Mavo Tassai, say hello all. And we have Monica, says hello, hello to you. Um, Min John Kim says good morning. Good morning to you, Jim. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Jean says hi all, hi to you. We have Carlos says good morning. Good morning to you as well. And uh, let's see what we have else here. Um, we have Vui says perfect timer or I would have missed it. Ricardo, good morning. Good morning to you. Um, yes, so thank you so much for joining me. So today I just would like to talk about a few things that we have. Um, it's basically a new a news and update from Amazon and uh, it could be related to you. But in the meantime, please ask me all your questions so we'll make sure that we really, um, you know, help you in, in, in this, in your journey. Because I really, this live Q&A, especially with the 100K, I was thinking, why should I waste uh, the first, 15 to 30 minutes in a subject but if you want that back i can go ahead and uh do that but uh please ask your question let's see what happens um so first thing the good news that about amazon um they started collecting taxes in uh specific states as we know the sales tax usually before a long time ago we, i mean until now some states that we have to collect the sales tax ourselves we have to make sure that we really uh, collect the sales tax where we make the sales in the specific states and once we make uh, collect the sales tax we have to pay back the states uh, on that taxes now um, Amazon has started collecting taxes for many states and they just added four more states this uh, year which is going to be Wisconsin Hawaii Illinois and Michigan so if you're selling a lot to those states Amazon start taking care of those taxes for you so which is really good thing uh, the other thing uh, do you know that in the free shipping uh, under the promotion, uh, you know, when you, the, when you create your promotion and you say, hey, uh, promotion, um, buy one, get one free or buy two, get 20%. When you create those promotions in your listing, uh, it used to be something called free shipping, uh, which is I never used, but it's actually a lot of people talking about it. It's a free shipping that you can um, 
if your product, I believe that's how it works. Please correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a prime shipping and uh, sorry, if you have FBA and you have a product that less than $25 that doesn't qualify for prime shipping for non prime uh, people, you'll be able to do free shipping and you will handle the cost. Or uh, if you're doing FBM, uh, which is usually you can do a free shipping if you want it. So the free shipping that creating this free shipping icon is not there anymore. So it's going to be discontinued very soon. The other thing, the other news that's coming up, which is good and bad things for some of you, it could be good for a lot of us, and bad things for the people who are playing, playing a little bit uh, shady, uh, which is, um, this. they say, there's rumors out there, they say that there will be a review sweep coming up very, very soon, or this year, uh, we don't know when, it could be this month, could be next month, or the month after, I'm not sure, but I'm hearing a lot of chatter about it. And this is actually um, a good thing for people who are really honest, for people who are really would like to, um, uh, who have done everything right, they didn't cheat the system, um, they will be able to benefit because there will be less competition. For people who are really um, men about the system, they will lose their, uh, uh, some of their reviews, which is going to be uh, really... Uh, bad for them, but it's going look at the bright side when sweep review sweep happens actually opportunities Start opening up opportunities start coming up, which is really really awesome. So I Found few of my products last year is actually because of that when the sweep happened um, The year before uh, not 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 last year the year before is actually I started uh, looking at those markets again because they were so saturated but uh, a lot of reviews, a lot of competition, but then the top guys, they were playing the system and they lost a lot of reviews. So open up a new room for new sellers like us to find new opportunities in a new, um, a new market. So please keep your eyes open. Uh, do not feel, oh my God, what's going to happen if you didn't play the system? Or even if you play the system a little bit, like I'm talking like a little bit edgy, you know, not like those people who are getting uh, 20, 30, 50%. Uh, reviews to sales ratio. Uh, so for every hundred uh, sales, they make 50 reviews. Uh, this is really hard. Usually it's going to be from five to 10%. Five is the max, five reviews for every hundred. And you can go up to 10, uh, but it's uh, really, um, it's really, uh, it's really, it's going to affect a bit, but trust me, uh, you will find really, really, really great opportunities. And please keep your eye on. Uh, I'm actually already, um, I'm not already because of this review sweep still, there's no review sweep, but I'm already looking for products. I know um, the Chinese New Year is happening. So what happened is that it will be this one month of lag. So it's the time for you now to look for products. I'm actually, I got a few uh, clients who are working on finding new products this month. So we'll make sure that's really uh, they get what they want is all depends on their goal, depends on their goals, depends on what they want exactly, what kind of competition, what kind of experience and all that matters when you find a product research. And I will be hopefully coming up with another video about product research with using Helium 10. A lot of you ask me about Helium 10. A lot of you ask me about, hey, how to use it, how to do this. So I'm thinking about uh, just coming up and uh, doing some Helium 10. Uh, tutorials for you guys to uh, learn for those who needs it. And at the same time, the same thing applies for every other software, uh, Jungle Scout, uh, Viral Launch, they all have the same kind of features. If you know how to use one, you'll be able to use the second one, but there's some features in Helium 10 uh, that actually really cool and I think makes your life a little bit easier. Uh, but still, um, you know, I think, in my opinion, when you do a product research, you need to make sure that you have more than one uh, tool uh, because you actually want to validate the product correctly. I don't think any of you will be a, will have the tool for more than one month if they're doing product research, unless they want to use the other features within um, um, the tools, which is you can use it for constantly. But for product research, trust me, I think one, but you need to have multiple to validate them. Uh, the other thing, um, actually, there is a lot of things happening about people are getting their listings suspended and the listing are being shut down because of safety concerns. Now, this is a very good thing for people who are in toys, people who are in pet, uh, people who are in baby products. 
these are anything ingestible uh, like health and uh, supplements like for me also it could be a problem uh, where listing is getting shut down because of safety concerns so what that means that you need to make sure that every product that you get that's related to uh, babies related to those categories you make sure that you get certification or you make sure that it's lab tested now how you get the lab tested uh, lab uh, testing a product or how you get the certificate you have a few things you can ask your supplier which is i think sometimes they're gonna lie about it so you need to make sure that you, you have independent uh, uh contractor independent uh, lab uh third part a uh, third party lab to test the product for you so how you do that you have to go to the cpsc uh, website which is uh, uh, co uh, consumer product safety commission uh, website which is uh, they tell you all the labs that have been approved by them so they're going to give you some labs that are actually approved or they actually uh, um, uh, they uh, um, uh, they take their word really well and make sure that they're really certified so they show you some labs that are actually in the states and some labs in china so if you got a product and you're in china they're going to give you a list of labs that dedicated for that specific product you can ask your supplier to take that product and ship it to the lab and the lab gonna do the testing when you get the reports you'll be able to give a cpsc and you will get cert uh, certified the other thing is they give you labs within the states so if you want you can order a, a sample or can order one um one unit from the patch for production send it to the labs in the us and you can get the certification as well now is that really something you would like to do in the states if you do a product within the states i think you can but usually they're already following those rules but if you can't uh, i think you can uh, very easily um, just do it in china is much easier and uh, very fast it doesn't cost much i think from 100 to 250 dollars to get a certificate and this is a huge opportunity for people who have the certificate already and other people i don't if you realize all the toys and baby toys and baby um uh baby toys baby toys i mean toys it could be toys for big uh for men like me which is my wall full of toys but uh toys uh or uh baby stuff or baby uh products um you you actually can have opportunity for those things to be shut down by the time they get certificate you'll be able to improve in your product running pvc and you're starting to raise your sales so it's really 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 uh, scary for some of you who are already have product that don't have certificate i really really highly recommend you go and get the certificate right away before it gets shut down and for those who are uh, playing with the rules and they have the certificate but um, all their competitors they don't have it and they're competing with them on price you can uh, get opportunity to uh, shine at that time the other thing uh, another news um, by the way you guys hear me well you hear me uh, see me well please let me know in the chat so I make sure that everything went well with this because I didn't ask you that um, and I have one more news but just give me a sip the other um, news is about drop shippers now drop shippers you need to be aware of this uh, for those who doesn't know drop shippers is basically um i am a, a drop shipper let's say i i i go to walmart or a big retailer a walmart um you can do aliexpress if you want but mostly for people who does walmart home depot big retailers um they find a product that at 10 bucks but on amazon sells for 20 so what they do they get this product listed even when they, when they don't have it they list it as an fbm uh, they put it on the marketplace when someone buys it and pay them they go right away to to walmart they they uh, buy the product and ship this product from walmart to the customer which is uh really you don't need to have inventory uh you can make uh, good money if you have it's all about quantity about how many units you have about how many listings you list you'll be able, you'll be able to make very good money now what's happening is that uh, a lot of people are starting to uh complain about how they're receiving a package that they already ordered from amazon but actually comes with walmart packaging or it comes with home depot packaging or it comes with another packaging they're not set to uh, so there's a few complaints i know this something was 
big concern from the beginning, but nobody cared. Like nobody cared. Like if I get a buyer product and I get receive it in within a different box, I'm not going to be all mad, you know. But now I think people are start a little bit talking about it because dropshipping is becoming bigger. Um, so what they say now, a lot of dropshippers are getting their accounts suspended. Uh, not a lot, like few of them. So you need to make sure um, you're aware of that if you're doing drop shipping. They say the best way to do it is once the when you list the product on Amazon and someone buys it, you order the product from Walmart, ship it to yourself. Once you ship it to yourself, then you change the packaging, then you ship it to the customer, which is going to make the handling and the shipping time a little bit longer, which is going to affect drop shippers. So they say you have to do that in order to uh, maintain your drop shipping or maintain your account and all this stuff. Now it's, it's happening at a smaller scale, a small, I mean, few people are getting suspended. There's few people that I really follow for drop shipping uh, stores, like I do retail online arbitrage. And there's a trick where I follow uh, some uh, drop shippers and I'll be able to find everything they have. So far, they are good. They have nothing happened to them. So, which is a really uh, good thing uh, to to know, uh, but really, really be aware, uh, be careful if that's your only business drop shipping. Make sure you adjust, adapt, pivot. Try to see if we can do something. Ship the product to a third party, a third party fulfillment center. They will be able to ship it and they ship it back to the customer, which is going to really make the um, uh, shipping time really long. But um, it might help a bit. So please uh, be aware, and that's why we. I uh, highly recommend, like I have a friend of mine who does drop shipping, who's really successful at it. He makes really good money on it. He would like to do the private label. He would like to um, just have multiple stream of income within the same niche. I'm not a big believer of multi uh, stream of income. Uh, like I, I like to do only Amazon FBA. Like for example, Amazon FBA, I don't mind doing wholesale, uh, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, uh, drop shipping, anything related to Amazon FBA. I don't want to be like, hey, Amazon FBA, then I do real estate, then I go flip, uh, I don't know, um, uh, real estate, do Bitcoin, uh, do Uber, do, I don't know. It's a little bit too many things you're into, uh, but you got to do what you got to do, okay? Um, now, what else you got for me, guys? I'll wait for a question. I don't know if the chat is still there, if you guys still see me. What else we have? Anything else you have for me? A question. That's all what I have for you as um, news. And these are the things I really wanted to talk to you about. But if you have a question, please go ahead and and um, uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask them right now. Um, if it's not, we can call it a short day and we move on and we'll be fine. Um, what else? Uh, the last, I hope you guys really liked the last video, uh, how to spot a fake gurus. This video really, um, yeah, we got some heat from it. We got a lot of emails. We got a few emails, actually not a lot. We got a few emails. Um, you know, people are thinking it was them or I was talking about them. I just want to iterate this again. I, I not mentioning anybody. I'm not pointing a finger at anybody. If you have, um, if I, if you have any um, issues and you're reaching out to me, uh, that's because of lack of confidence that you have, or maybe you're suspecting that is about you. If you're confident enough about yourself, you wouldn't uh, reach out and say, hey, this and that. So um, I just let you know, I'm not um, appointing the finger at anybody. I don't care about the big names. I don't care about small names, nothing. I'm just talking about the nine signs, how to spot a fake guru, but I'm not pointing out at anybody. At nobody, nobody, nobody. Uh, I'm just trying to help people that I have here. Uh, I'm not seeing the chat. I'm not seeing the the questions. Let me see if I have the questions because uh, Nancy, thank you so much for for um, trying to give me the questions because I really don't know what happened. There's no questions here. Oh man, oh man. Oh, we have questions, but I don't know why it's not. Why is it not working here? In my chat, I'm not seeing your chat, guys. That's why. So uh, let me see if I can. Da, 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 da. 
Thank you, Nancy. For, oh, yeah. Now I see them. I was like, what's going on? There was no questions. But now I see the questions. So thank you so much. Refresh finally got them. Oh, my God. I was like, what happened? Nobody's talking to me. Mm -hmm. Am I having an issue here? Uh, but, yeah. As I was saying, guys, I hope you really like the fake gurus. I'm really not mentioning anybody. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm just trying to educate the people who are in the Amazon business. Uh, I actually now, uh, Nancy, thank you so much. Now I think I see all the questions, which is great. Uh, but you can keep them in the chat and I will be able to look at them. So I was just saying, as I was saying before, uh, the fake guru video is only about awareness. I just want to help people uh, who have been burned or do, do not believe in the business anymore because they got burned or they didn't do their product research well or maybe followed someone that really hurt them. I want you to know that it's start a new beginning. This business is really good. Uh, really can make good money with it. Uh, but you need to have the consistency. You need to uh, find some product. You're going to fail with them, but you will fix them. Trust me. Um, I'm looking for a few products uh, to expand within my brand. And actually, I want to let you something. Uh, I want to let you know something. You know, like, I don't want you to think, hey, everything I touch make it gold. Like, I showed you a lot of things that I was doing well. Uh, I want to share with you the things that didn't go well with me this year so far. Is actually, I have one product, uh, two products we just launched. Uh, they're a little bit struggling. So now, we're thinking is about the season. So that's why the season is not selling as much. Uh, but... Um, we're struggling a bit with it. So it's not having the, the, the commitment is losing money every day. Uh, but I'm still fixing the BBC. We're going to go to the next step uh, by uh, doing many chat and all this stuff to make sure we grow it. Uh, but it really does happen. Not everything will work, but um, um, everything has a solution. Everything you can improve on it. So I just want to come out and telling you about this. So, you know, uh, it will have some failures. I don't have everything. Oh my God. Um, I know everything. I don't know everything. I, I, I fail also at a few things. Even at this experience, you will still have some issues, but it's normal. I learn, adapt, get, get the product. Okay. No, what's the issues? Now I'm trying to change it, changing the pictures. I'm changing the enhanced brand content. Let's see how that reacts. Then I'm going to use many chat. I'm going to see how far I get reviews from, I get reviews. Then I'm going to start doing the launch. And I'm going to iterate. So that's going to happen to a lot of you. It's going to happen to me. It's going to happen to everybody. But that's the business we're in. We're retail. We're going to take the chances. We're going to read the data. And we're going to react according to it. All right. So now that's enough. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we have. Carlos Pichico. I hope I didn't put your, your last name, man. Carlos, I'm sorry if I did. Uh, doing business as any time. I brand a new product. I have to add that name to my company. I'm not sure what's your your question. Doing business. Ah, oh, okay. DBA. Okay. DBA. Anytime I brand. Okay. So you can do this the following. So for example, you can have your company called Carlos LLC. And underneath it, you can have multiple brands. So now every brand that you have, uh, you can have a trademark under the same LLC. And then you own all the trademarks under the same LLC. Or... You can do, uh, first of all, I'm not CPA. You can go ahead and ask your own CPA, your own accountant, your own trademark attorney to be able to help you with this, okay? But I like to have each LLC with each brand because this is easier for me if I wanted to sell it later on. I don't want to have one LLC and then have multiple brands and then with the time I want to sell, the LLC owns every trademark, every brand. So it's very hard to, hey, separate the, the brand from the LLC and let it go. I have to have... The whole entity owns the trademark, hold the brand, the logo, everything, and then I sell the whole thing as a, as a whole, okay, without without any issues. And also, it's better for my accounting. It's better for everything I do. Now, if you want to do any DPA, yes, you can um, for every brand, not for every product. So, for example, I am into home and kitchen, and I call Sad Home and Kitchen, and I have multiple products. That's one brand. Then if I have one in sports and outdoor, maybe I have three or four, that's another one. So you'll be able to uh, have multiple of them. Now, doing as business is good, uh, but it's up to you, man. It's about how you structure it. But you can do it uh, doing as uh, DPA as well. Um, but it all depends on um, your brands and how you want to strategize. What's your end goal? Are you uh, trying to sell? Are you just want to do it for yourself and that's it? 
so it's all up to you but for me i will have each llc with its own brand and that's it this is how i set up my own brands each llc one brand llc brand it doesn't cost much it's easy and everything is separated for accounting and for uh, income outcome and taxes and all this stuff so that's what i think is good um but um yeah for example i have my own brand i have one account that has two brands underneath them this is i don't care because i know i am uh, one of brand is okay not it's okay money the second one's doing well i just launched it and left them together and i didn't care but each one the one that has really high potential i leave them by themselves ricardo uh villa Velabos. oh my god i'm butchering names guys i'm really sorry i'm really sorry um, I'm very bad with names. Uh, can you give us a little bit on info on how you do it when, uh, how do it when we go out to the store, how you pick your product? It's very simple. Um, scan, 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 scan. If you're talking about retail online arbitrage, and I think that's what you're talking about because you guys saw that I'm still sourcing products, um, and I'm still sending product in. Even the sales are a little slow, actually. Um, but I'm still going out there and sourcing products because it's going to pick up. I, I am more specialized in toys and kind of collectibles a bit. So what I do, I just find toys and the toys doesn't have a season. Every day is going to have a birthday. I mean, every, every month there's a birthday. There's something happening. Every kid wants a toy at one point. Now they're maybe exhausted their time with toys, but I still send in because I find very good deals, especially now there's after new year, you're going to see now January, February is going to slow down the sales. So you're going to find a lot of store specials, a lot of specials going on. And my biggest thing is hidden clearance, hidden clearance. It's, it's basically every store. If you find the same product at 30 bucks everywhere, maybe I can find one Walmart has it for $2 or $1. I do this all the time and it's all about checking. The other thing you can do is sourcing yourself before. So you can have a software like tactical arbitrage. Uh, you can look for a product ahead of time and then you'll be able to uh, see if it works or not, if they're profitable or not. Uh, the other thing I do a lot, which is really a good trick, is basically I open my, my app, my Amazon seller app, and hold a second. Okay, uh, hold a second. I cannot do it. Okay, uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Okay, so for example, I open my seller app and there's here, there is a camera button. You see this camera button? I hit it. Okay, it's going to give me like, I see myself twice, baby. <laughs> okay, so when I have this one, I can have any any product for example let's say this product and i have ubc code okay i have a ubc code here okay this ubc code i just scan it scan it hopefully they have it so now oh my god the product completely different just give me a second let me find something all right that's a toy one I have sent, I paid really cheap for it. So let's say I have my phone, I have the app again. I just find the UPC code. I already have, oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I can do the picture if I want it, let me see. Okay, so basically you need to scan it. I hope I can scan it. I can't find it. But anyways, you need to scan. You need to scan the barcode. Once you scan the barcode, it's gonna tell you how much the product sells for, how much money you make of it, and you'll be able to make a decision is good or not. For example, me. If I buy a product for ten bucks, I want to make sure that I make ten bucks back. So basically, twenty bucks back. It's really, really important. Uh, you know what? I'm bothered. I have to find your product. I'm sorry. Give me a second. That's it, I found it. All right, so let's say this product, okay? This is um, a product, I bought a lot of it. I paid, um, it was a special buy one, get the second one for half price. So, and they were already liquidated. So this product was already liquidated from 20 bucks to seven bucks, then you buy one, the second one half price. 
So um, seven plus three, ten. So basically cost me around five bucks each. So what I do in the store, I come get this barcode, the barcode. I get my app and I just scan it. Oh, I know why it's not working because I am in the States. I need to go to my Canadian account. Hey, man. Okay, so I come scan this product. And now it's going to tell me, hey, this is, this is, this is the product. Okay, it tells me the BSR here on the left side. Okay, I click on the product. Then it's going to tell me the following. Look at this. Okay, it's going to tell me, let me see if you can see it very well. Okay, so now it tells me the product sells for $59.99. It's so hard to zoom in. Okay, $59.95 uh, minus $15.07 for Amazon fees. And then you left out with $44.88. So now $44.88, I click on that. It's going to tell me all the breakdown. So $44.88. So what I'm going to do now, I'm, until here, there's cost of purchase. So I'll put 5 bucks, or let's say 7 bucks. I don't care. Okay. That's going to tell me that I'm making $37.88. Now, this deal is a very special deal because I was able to find a bunch of them. They were the only one. They were store special, which is each store has its own special. Like now, this Toys R Us had them all as special because they have this WrestleMania and they were the last ones. So they had special on them because they want to clear them. They want to get a new, pro they want to uh, uh, fill up the shelf with a new product. So it was easy to get them. When I went to other Toys R Us, I didn't find the same deal. They weren't there because they were all sold out. So that's how I do it. This is how I do it. I keep, keep, uh, uh, I go from early morning, nine o'clock. Uh, I drop my kids to school, go Walmart, hit them one, one by one, Toys R Us is, Every store that I have, I hit them up, I keep scanning, look at the liquidation. I have the experience now to know where, where everything is. And I, you need to find your niche. My niche is toys. I'm getting a little bit in beauty. Uh, but in Canada, is the, the demand is low. So what happened with demand is low, I need to be very selective with my products. Uh, so I need to get products for uh, 50,000 BSR and less. This one was 84,000 BSR, but I'm running... PPC and there's no many sellers on the same listing. So easier for me to make the money, especially if they're selling at hundred bucks, I'm selling at, uh, uh, I'm selling at 50 bucks. It doesn't matter. I'm making money. All right. So that's how I do it. And trust me, it works phenomenal. I have been doing, I mean, this is how I started. I'm telling you, hitting every star, making money with small budget, had no money. Oh man, this is the way to do it. If you try and say the, uh, the following, uh, and I hope that helped you, Ricardo, and please let me know if it helped you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Um, Tran says, desperate for product. If I create a store on Shopify, is there a way to link the uh, link it to Amazon, just like Joe Lister for eBay? About tax, where do we download the tax document? I'm going to be very honest with you, Vu, uh, Tran. I think you're trying to do so many things. If you're established on Amazon, you're already selling, making good money, and your product reach, uh, reached the big, um, the cap, reached the maximum money, I think now is the time for you to, uh, you can go ahead and do Shopify. Me, I do not bother myself in those stuff. I don't think it's necessary, necessary uh, to go ahead and search outside traffic uh, and start building a new store and trying to get traffic to it. It's really hard. If you're not able to do it in Amazon very well, where the traffic already exists and is only about promoting and making your listing better and having differentiation, it's very hard to do it when you Shopify. I know a lot of people making money on Shopify. I know a lot of people swear about Shopify. I have tried it once as a drop shipper, uh, but I haven't tried it as really my product put on Shopify. I have WordPress, I have my product, yes, but not main reason to make money off it specialize, make sure you work on what's working, what you're knowledgeable about before you jump into the next step and doing outside traffic. I know a lot of you be surprised. Hey, how come you do that? Hey, don't you trying to build your email list? Yes, I'm building my email list. I can target them if I want for launches, but for growth, it's going to happen later on. It's not as easy. People in, 
people makes it sound so easy oh i got a product i get my product in, in, in shopify run an ad look alike audience custom audience boom you make the sales you know how many ads you need to run and you become unprofitable in the beginning you run you need to run five uh, campaigns or maybe 10 campaigns uh, facebook campaigns testing the uh, testing the uh, the copy test uh, split testing the copy split testing the images doing a video and then when you have all these 10 campaigns then you're gonna find which one is working you're gonna scale those and the rest of them are not gonna work maybe two two or three out of the ten will work and you need to scale those it takes the skills and I really think focus on what do you know like to me I tried it and I I I got the same thing, the same feeling as you guys. I'm telling you the same feeling. I see this. I'm on YouTube. I see this guy. Oh my God! Look at this. Look at that. And I'm like, oh my God! I want to do this. Oh my God! I'm missing out and have the scarcity and I don't know what to. Do. No, man. Do what you know best. Specialize in it. Make it good. Build the brand. Have two, three products around this brand. Then try to do uh, Shopify slowly, 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 incrementally, but not to focus on it. I really, really believe. You will, um, you will hurt your focus and you will spread, you spread yourself very thin. That's what I believe. But if you want, yes, I believe uh, there is uh, a plugin for this for Shopify to be able to do it the same thing at Joe Lister. Or the best way you do it when you already have Shopify is by basically using a third party fulfillment center that's going to help you with um which is going to help you with um uh, fulfilling the orders once you get an order you can do that is better is cheaper for you than fulfilling from amazon but in the beginning if you want to test it you can test it by amazon and then you make the switch okay that's what i think and tell me guys what do you think leave it in the comment let me know what do you think do you think i'm talking is it right is it wrong who a specialist here on shopify please come speak up let me know what do you think really will help uh, Min, Min, John, uh, Min John Kim says, I have some books, text books that I want to sell to get some capital. Does it make sense to send to send them in to US or should I send them to, to Canada? Is the process similar to the arbitrage model? Yes, books is the same thing as arbitrage model. This is how I started uh, basically not a bigger, not very, very big scale is what I did the following when I started. I just start with money and I actually really was tempted to do um, uh, a thumbnail or uh, do a video. I was like, how to start on Amazon with zero money? I can do it, but everything requires money. And I was worried. I think it's not right to get this click bait, even if it's a little bit has truth with it, because yes, you can start, but you're not going to be able to make the money that you want. So what, how I validated the business for myself when I started Amazon, I was very skeptical. I know nothing. I came from working at a car wash, construction, doing restaurants, doing uh, uh, doing very small jobs on the side. I What I did is basically I took all my video games. I was a big gamer. I'm not a big gamer like, oh my God, I'm a big thing. I used to play soccer a lot. And I used to play the game, stay 3, 4 o'clock in the morning with my friends to play. Um, so I had a lot of games. So what I did, I took those games. I took my wife's books because she was the intellect one. I was the one who doesn't like to read. Even now, I don't like to read, but I like to read, uh, listen to a lot of business books, uh, business books and business YouTube channels. I really highly recommend if you watch Valuetainment uh, with uh, with Patrick Pet David. It really set me up. I think changed my mind completely about everything. But that's been said. I went. I took the videos. I took the books. I send them in and I start selling. When I start selling, I get so excited. So what I did the next thing, which is natural thing you do, is start pushing yourself, start experimenting with more. Uh, what I did, I went and I bought a big bunch of books, like uh, a guy whose his grandmother or mother died, and she had books that open books. Like I'm talking about massive, maybe a thousand books or even more. Now my truck was, I had to do two trips. So what I did, I went, I bought them for a hundred bucks. I got them in, I bought a scanner and I started scanning the products and I started shipping them in Canada. And I sold a lot. I made money with them. Some of them I got stuck with them. Some of them I disposed them. It's the beginning. When you're beginning, you don't know much. So that's what happened to me. I didn't know. And I just um, sold them. It was good. Now, you sending a product from here to the States is going to cost money. 
and it's going to be expensive and I don't know if you'll be able to compete but I think you should start with the country that you're in now for arbitrage see how it goes then you can start leveraging the US uh, if I want to leverage the US as I used to do before is basically doing online arbitrage ship the product to third party uh, um, uh, fulfillment center or prep center they fix the product for me and then they ship them to Amazon you can do that or what I used to do also which is people think I'm crazy but yes I did this I used to cross the border which is one hour from here I used to go and start sourcing and do retail arbitrage in Plattsburgh in Vermont and all this stuff I do a tour find the product uh, I swear to you this is the truth I go to a hotel I, I, I package the product put them in the boxes and ship them to UPS drop them at UPS and I'm good to go I used to do that but I don't know if you have it in you if you want to do that or not and you need to know what you're doing first so that's why I said go ahead in, in Canada check it out before you go ahead and do the US because it's a little bit easy, uh, harder um, and I think you have 20 I'm not if I'm not mistaken I think $2,500 uh, you can cross the border with like what I did once I bought those Burel uh, stands from um, um, from a pallet uh, from a big pallet and they had a lot of uh, sanitizers uh, holders stands and it didn't sell very well in Canada I sold maybe one so what I did I took them all I put them in the states and I sold them within two days were 50 units two days gone uh, but when I crossed the border they told me what is this for I was like oh I'm gonna sell them Amazon I didn't know nothing and imagine with my last name it's not that great to cross the border so i told hey i just should ship them to amazon I'm doing this like oh how much is the value i like my value was like 300 bucks or 400 was like oh you should be fine but anything over 2500 i'm not sure call the custom border see what's the how much you can uh cross with okay not getting gifts crossing with product to sell i think there's a, a threshold and I'm, i don't remember what it is because i haven't done it since then, I've done it only once, and I was like, I don't want these issues. But you can do that as well. Kher Kher says, Hey Saad, what's the best advice when we search a product to sell on Amazon? There are many things on YouTube. It's very confusing. Do you have element to focus on them when we search a product? Kher Kher, very good question. I think uh, product research is very, very crucial. I made a video, which is was my first or se second or third video that I made um when i started this channel is about product research it was one hour and a half i was sweating bullets i was so scared of doing it. it was my first time on youtube <laughs> i was oh my god and i made a one hour and a half it's about viral launch and how to find products very 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 lengthy one and i think you'll be able to find really good products i shared with you how to find a product uh, how to validate them and how to source them i'm telling you all the stuff that you need to start selling on Amazon, you already have it in the channel. I'm telling you, it's very much in depth. For sure, I have a lot of tricks under my sleeves, but this is very, very good, very good tutorial that you really, I really believe you're gonna find value. So I really highly recommend go out there and look at them. It's really important. You're gonna see, hey, how much the product price. I like products that sells from 25 bucks and higher. I like products that uh, it doesn't matter the size. It doesn't matter the weight for me as long as I'm making the money. I want to make sure that I have um, a product that has a little bit low reviews, not very high reviews. Even if it has high reviews, you need to make sure that you differentiate it very well. I want to make sure this product has multiple keywords that explains the product or leads you to the product. I want to find three to five keywords that are related to the product that I can target and they can come up from eight, uh, from, uh, eight to, uh, sorry, from 10 to 15,000 uh, search volume. I want to make sure there's not there's no seasonality in the product. I want to make sure the product is not um, um, uh, um, is not a brand loyalty. Like there's no one brand uh, taking the whole uh, sales from Amazon. So these are things. Go ahead and watch. It's very detailed. I help you a lot with it. I showed you the failures. I showed you the the products that I failed with. I showed you uh, what products to avoid. There's 16 of them. I shared with you product research, how to source. Everything is there. It's very easy. And I think you guys, you get here, you're going to find very, very, very good information. I Trust me, it's going to be awesome. Mavo says, yes, all good, sir. Thank you so much. Here says, yes, perfect. Thank you. That was come late. Mavo says, is Amazon Japan interesting? What's your opinion, please? I haven't done it myself, 
But yes, uh, they say Japan is really the next big thing. Uh, is growing very well. Uh, is doing good. I haven't done it myself. I haven't searched the 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 market itself, but I think you'll be able to find good things. So I highly encourage you look into it. If you're living in Japan or you're closer to it, you can uh, experiment, see what it is. I think it's great. Uh, so far, the things that I don't feel is really doing well. Or uh, Marcus, I wouldn't get into Mexico, uh, Mexico, uh, Australia, and Middle East, which is the uh, Dubai, uh, the Middle East one. I wouldn't do it yet because it's just not there. The infrastructure is not there. The foundation is not there. Okay. Uh, Chinese food says, "Sad. How much does the CPC, CPSC certificate cost? If I have two variables of the same product, do I need to have two certificates?" I believe you need to do two certificates if you have different products. You need to make sure that both products are the same quality. Uh, but as I said, I think it was from 100 to 250 dollars uh, uh, to test them, and I think will save you a lot of time. So I highly recommend doing it. I'm actually, if any product I would like to do, I'm gonna do it. Like actually, the product, the electronic, which is really great is doing well and actually just to keep you posted to see hey not everything is flourish everything is amazing actually we got a hijacker yesterday so it's getting harder to get him out but hey um i know we can um he actually was selling the product 30 bucks more than us and he was selling uh but um we sent him cease and desist letter uh we're still applied for a uh, trademark we'll see how it goes uh, but likely uh we had some products uh in uh, I think eight units and now we have two only left so we're selling but anyways that's one of them so uh, actually what I was saying is the battery in this product we had it certified okay but from China itself we have the certificates and everything Monica says hey Sat, as expected in general lots of refunds problems I have my NCX rate is 3% custom reason is inaccurate website description I think it was 2.56 so it went up. Not sure what I need to do. Um, as I told you guys, I had the same issue with electronic. I got hit with 12 uh, NCX, which is some of them were legitimate uh, issues. So I had to fix. So they suspended my listing. I just relisted it and everything is fine. Um, yeah, there's no, I mean, this is very tricky because there's not much you can do except improving your product, launching it back in and make sure you're not going to have the issue. Uh, and once you get, I mean, what I expect is going to happen next, they will suspend your listing if that happens again. But this is normal. Returns is going to happen in January, and we know that. So uh, a lot of people are going to give fake claims to make sure that you really get, they get a refund. Uh, but uh, all you have to do is release the product and make sure you don't get that much returns. And improve the product if it's legitimate. Um, and that's it. There's not much I really can give you here. Um, it's a, something in you happened to me. I realized the product and that's all what I can do. And if you're already here, please like the pro uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, please help me in my challenge, uh, to reach the 10 K, uh, this year, which is really big number, <laughs> but please with your help, I think we can get there. Uh, if, uh, we get there, if we really help each other. So please like subscribe and share. Um, Chinese food says, I saw a video mentioning we can no longer download the buyer info. Did Amazon remove that? I think it used to allow us to download every 30 days. Is that the case? Yes, you can download it, but you cannot get the information anymore. Before you used to get the name, uh, we used to get uh, the address, the phone number, which is used to help us to do lookalike audience on Facebook and be able to target the specific audience and demographic of uh, of of uh, of our customers, but now they don't give us that anymore. Uh, so we're out of luck of this. Uh, but yes, uh, we don't we cannot do it anymore. Uh, luckily, what I did, I always download some of those reports and I have them already in. So for some of my products within the same brand, that's what brand is. It's one of the pros. Or one of the good things about brand is actually gonna have. Uh, all the customers the same audience so you don't need to have it again you can have it the same thing look like audience you're good to go but yes they have removed them monica i'm afraid if i get another refund and the sx is over five percent amazon might close the listing it's possible as i told you if they close it i just relisted it 
uh, by acknowledging the problems and I'm working on them. If they do the second time, then you will need to contact them, do an appeal, um, a plan of action letter saying what's, uh, how you fix the problem and all this stuff. And uh, you will be uh, getting reinstated uh, and that's it. So that's what's bad about January. That's why I don't know how the algorithm works. If you know January is going to have a lot of returns, it's going to hurt it's gonna hurt our NCX, which is, I think they should have been lenient about that, especially it's a new thing that's happening. And that's the side effect of high sales, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, uh, um, Christmas sales, holiday season, it's gonna have a lot of returns. So NCX for sure is gonna go up. So, but I don't know how they're working with this and I hope they fix it. Because even this, and also the same thing with the performance index, Performance index about limiting how many units you can send in or what's the sales through rate for your specific product. Now they're limiting a lot of people with their storage units. So now you cannot, hey, that much you have. You have only 30 cubic feet or you have 50 cubic feet and you cannot send anything more. It's crazy. Why don't I send and you charge me more? I think it's better than just not letting me, let, let, not giving me the chance to do it. But hey, that's Amazon and we have to do what we, whatever we can. I think the 10% NCX, they will close your listing. Yes, uh, I believe 10% NCX will close my listing. Mine was 11, 11%. Uh, some of them were bogus and some of them were true. So I, I was very honest with myself. I knew what they were issue. And that's why instead of, I mean, actually 14 days ago, we the product supposed to be shipped. We stole everything. And yes, um, when was it? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, I had my inspections people go there and check every each each and every product to make sure everything is good and now we're good so hopefully we'll be shipped by uh, Monday this Monday or Tuesday and we'll be back in business um, Mahmoud uh, says hey Saad I'm trying to start the journey of 100k but I still struggle in opening my Amazon store account since more than one month I stuck on verifying document and bills matter 100% you're right a lot of people who are opening a new accounts are getting issues with this by opening account especially by validating their business uh, by validating their residency a proof of a residency a proof of uh, uh, billing and all the stuff um, but that's part of the game so we need you can by the time the by the time you're listing or sorry by the time your account is being stated or you're opening your account I think you should start looking for products and you will get through it. The other thing, I think you can reach out to some lawyers that will be able to help you in opening up your account. I don't know where are you from. I don't know where which uh, which uh, country. But if you're in the Canada and the US, it's going to be easy. If the UK is going to be easy. But if you're in the Middle East, if you're not in Jordan and uh, Dubai, what you need to do is opening an account in approved country in a country that's been approved by Amazon, and then you'll be able to open an account, which is a little bit uh, tedious process. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, a lot of people are getting stuck with this. Uh, but yeah, what you can do, especially, I think you said it's been a month or something. So for sure, you're gonna be stuck because they were busy with their stuff. They're busy with the Christmas rush. I think now they're slow, sl slowing down, so you'll be able to get a better service. Uh, but it's a part of the game, man. Carlos, uh, and also the other thing you can do, uh, Mahmoud, is basically buy an existing account. Uh, there's a, a lot of websites out there that you can buy um, uh, an account that already open and they will transfer it to you. But what you need to make sure is, is that this account doesn't owe any taxes, make sure it's being validated, make sure that uh, you're not going to get issues later on with it. And I really congratulate you by joining the 100K challenge. I think everyone here should have a commitment, a vision, a goal that they want to reach. Even if they can't, can. If they cannot, they cannot. I'm in the same boat. My challenge is to reach the 10K per per uh, th this year. If I can, good. If I cannot, it is what it is, man. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to do better next year. I'm going to fix the things I did wrong, and I'm going to keep going. You do the same thing. Please do it. It's nothing. It's only 8,300 uh, in sales per month. That's nothing. You can do it. Carlos says, another question. I see sometimes people sell things without brand names like they get straight from Alibaba and sell it. That's not smart, right? Yeah, that's not smart. That's called white label. It's basically, I'm getting the same product, has no labels, nothing. I create a listing 
But what happens is, is gonna, you're going to have a lot of hijackers if you open the listing yourself. Or what you can do, you can hijack another listing. It's not smart. I don't think you should do it. I think it's very easy for you to get a product with your own brand and start it yourself. Now, there is sometimes you can do it from AliExpress. Uh, but this is only for testing purposes. Like uh, there's a method we teach where we test products, but the right way. And um, this is requires you to uh, get products from Alex uh, from AliExpress or get them from uh, any wholesaler and test the product before you place the big order from China or from Alibaba. Hmm. Mahmoud says, what do you suggest to me to activate my account? Do I need to get help from any party that provides services for suspend account? I think you should, but I don't think you're suspended. You're just validation process. You're having issues, which is a lot of people having issues with it right now for validation. Uh, I remember a few years back, I was saying selling on Amazon is going to become privilege. It's not going to be anybody can open. Open account is going to be hard. Selling on Amazon is going to be a privilege. It's going to be something that really you need to work hard to be able to get. Uh, so having an account is very good. But I think you should reach out to other people. There's CJ Rosenbaum. He's uh, Amazon's uh, Amazon lawyer, the very well known. Uh, he'll be able to help you with that as well. I don't know his fees. Um, we tried to ask him to come to the show, uh, to the show here and have interview. Uh, but he promised a few times, but he didn't show up. I hope he can see this video and please, if he can come, let's interview CJ. Um, I know we have my assistant reach out to you, uh, to talk about, uh, an interview and I hope he can find it in you, um, to come here and ask and answer some questions for our, um, for our, uh, followers, which is, they were really ap appreciated. So CJ, please, and I'll reach out to you and I'll see if he can do it. Uh, Mini Jim Cohen said, how did you set up your LLC? Do you use an online service or lawyer? How much does it cost up front and what does it cost to maintain them? Okay, LLC is not expensive. It's not expensive. It's, I think, $250. You can use wyomingllc.com. Uh, you'll be able to open one. You have a, a legal Zoom can open up an uh, LLC for you. It uh, doesn't require you much. You just pay the $250 to $350 for LLC. And you need to make sure that you file for sales tax every month for each LLC, uh, which is not that not the hard, especially if you're doing, um, uh, you're doing Wyoming or Delaware, which is there's a free sales tax. You just need to go ahead to their website, uh, register, and for every month, you just say, hey, zero sales or whatever is the sales tax zero, and you should be good to go. Uh, but I'm telling you, you do not go ahead and do, look, what's working for me might not work for you. And this is a very important thing, a thing I would like to discuss with you guys. When, when you want to compare yourself to someone else, do not compare to someone who's really ahead of you. Compare yourself, I mean, ask this person who's higher than you what they were doing when they were here. If they are here and you're here, I'm not saying you're here and I'm here. I'm not saying this, okay? You could be there and I'm here. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, my approach, I used to ask when I see someone really doing, how did you make millions? How did you do it? Let me know. Oh, a million? How, what's, the, what's the strategy now? You don't want that strategy. It's not going to work for you because you're not there. So what I do is like, hey, what did you do or how you started when you were at that stage right now, when you had no money or you had 5000 or $2,000, what was your strategy? That was the case. So do not compare yourself with someone else who have those multiple LLCs or have this big higher income. Start from the beginning. Like that's why the question asking me, hey, how do you start it? Yeah, for retail and arbitrage. You know what? So maybe I can sell retail and arbitrage and then work my way up. And you can do the same thing. So do not just open LLCs just to open them up. Make sure it really makes sense to you. And uh, uh, ask someone, uh, uh, an accountant or someone and see if it works. Um, but that's how I do it myself. This is my experience. Pernella says, how important are the keyword when uploading the image to EPC content? Keyword when uploading only not the keyword under the image. Uh, also, I have repeated keyword. They're already in my bullets. Should I change them? Uh, look, uh, the most important for the bullets, the bullets, uh, sorry, the most important for keywords, as we know, the title, uh, bullet points and the back end. I do not 
pay attention to my EPC. I don't care about the keywords. All what's the, what I use the enhanced prime counter for is the images and making sure it attracts people with the images. I want to let the images speak for themselves. I don't want to be blah, 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 have a lot of questions or have a lot of, of stuff coming up. I do not do this. Uh, now, their index or not, I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't care because all my keywords are going to be in the title, bullet point, and the back end. Um, and the other thing you were asking, which is a trick we used to use, is by uploading the picture, the picture would change the name of the file. So if I upload them, uh, let's say I'm selling um, uh, coffee press. Okay, I can say, hey, coffee press, black coffee press. So I rename the image itself, each image, I rename them for that specific keyword. They say that helps you with your Google uh, ranking, with Google indexing. Not for Amazon, uh, but hey, I do it. I don't know if it works or not, but I do it, you know? Uh, so I'm not sure about about uh, if it works or not. But hey, as we said, make sure that your bullet points, your title, and your back end is really optimized. And the rest, forget about it. Do not see those little things. Like, hey, my God, I need to do change the name here. Or I need to do this. I need to... Do not obsess about that. It's not this is the trick is going to make you the million. It's the product, the differentiation, is the PPC, is the uh, is the keywords, the indexing, the ranking. There's another video that I'm going to come up with, which is going to show you what the things you need to do to make sure you really increase your sales and you match your competitors, which is really important. Uh, but these are little things. And I find it significant, honestly. Like the same thing of saying, hey, um, when I have my title, I want to make sure the first five words I really shows up in my um, canonical URL. Yes, this is good for Google, but are you ranking for Google? Is that what you want? It's a side hustle. It's gonna help, but it's not the major thing. It's gonna make you the bam. No, it's gonna be a little thing. Okay, so I don't want you to sweat the little details. Make sure the the bigger picture is good and those little things. I do them myself too. So I'm not saying oh don't do them. No, I do them, but I don't base my business. Not like if I don't do it, I'm gonna get mad. Oh, I go to my sister. Why didn't you change the name? Why didn't you do this? I don't know. Oh, you know, let's change it. Let's see what happens. That's it. It's just like those things that you don't know if it works or not. But he heard it does. So why not do it? It doesn't take much time. Lisa says, hi, Sad. If you have a product around 20 to 22, competitor's price would, would price at 25 with improvement for appealing to non-prime members or members or you go same price of others but improved. Listen, are you talking about private label or are you talking about retail arbitrage? Now, if I have a retail arbitrage, as I said, okay, if I have this product, a retail arbitrage, I'm gonna put it less price than uh, less price than uh, the prime shipping. Now, for for a private label. For private label, it all depends on your differentiation, on your product, how well it is, what's the market. If you differentiate it, yeah, for sure you want to go higher than them because you offered more, it's gonna, the cost is more, the shipping is more for you, so charging more is good, but not at launch stage. So it all depends. You're, it all depends. Are you in the launch stage? Are you already selling? So at launch stage, for sure you're going to go a little bit lower than your competitors or matching the competitors or 10% less than your competitors to attract new customers because you have no reviews. Once you get the reviews, then you start raising the price slowly. Uh, so for example, let me talk for personal experience. I have those products that I told you that are a little bit struggling right now. Uh, so what I did, I lowered the price, made sure that I am a little bit lower than uh, the top competitor, even that I have more than my top competitor, I have better improvement, I have better images, I have better description, I have better bullet points, I have better enhanced uh, content, uh, I have good reviews is low actually, I don't have much reviews comparing to him, but I know my product is better. I had to go lower and I'm just the sake of making sales and trying to ranking and once I'm ranking and I start myself start being good, I become profitable, then slowly, slowly I'm going to raise my price until where I want it to be. That's the best way to do it. That's how I do it, okay? Uh, so yeah, it doesn't mean you have to go low. It's always good. The other instance, for example, the supplement. The supplement is crazy. It's really a lot of work. I don't recommend it for newbies. Even me, I actually, 
God forbid something happened to it. I'm starting a new one without uh, without uh, supplement. It requires too much work. I think there's much better uh, uh, options out there. But what happened is I sell my product at 40 bucks. The rest of people sell them at 20, 20, 25 bucks. Why my product is better? Because it's made better. It's organic, has better packaging, has better uh, listing. It's really, I it cost me more to buy the product. So if I lower my price from 40 to 30 bucks, I don't get, I don't get as much sales at 40 bucks. That's why split testing the price is very important. So you need to do the, your job and split testing. Put it at low, put it at high and see the difference. So for me now, if I put out 40 and sell, I sell this amount of sales better than lowering the price and selling 100 units instead of 50. So you see that? So for me, I was like, hey, listen, I'm going to keep my price higher, sell a little bit less than my competitor, but I'm going to be able to make the same money as him, but have less issues by looking at the inventory, reordering more, uh, making sure that I get all those units, the, uh, the working capital is going to be more. So a decision I had to make. That's why now my sales is around to fluctuate from twenty six to thirty thousand dollars per month for that specific for one product. Why is that? Because I had to tone down compared to forty five thousand dollars, which was the last few uh, uh, few months ago was forty uh, forty five thousand dollars. I had to slow down. Why I was like, hey. I am going through a lot of units, but I'm getting issues with working capital, the supply not able to give me the product fast enough, so it's getting me issues. Like, you know what? Let me tone it down a bit, but I'm making almost the same money, but I have less headache in the back end. Okay, so that's how I uh, look at it, but you need to split test it. Uh, Chinese Food said, what's the suppress image trick when you run out of I tried changing the image, it's still an active status. Very, very good question. So the question is basically, when you run out of stock, what do you, what do you should do? Now, uh, what people are gonna tell you, go ahead and close the listing. This is not enough, guys. This is everyone's doing it. Amazon adapted to it, and it's not gonna work anymore. So the best way of closing your, uh, of, of, uh, um, of uh, what uh, the best thing of what to do when you run out of stock is the following. First, I close the listing just because extra measure. Uh, second, I will go ahead and change the main image to an image that against TOS. So what I do, maybe I can do black background, maybe I can put a lot of badges and put that. Once I do that, the, the system within 15 minutes is gonna suppress me. So if I get suppressed, this suppression is going to stop my B, uh, BSR, my, uh, my, uh, it's going to stop my um, uh, best seller rank history. So it's going to stop it. It's going to slow it down. You don't want it to be going too high. So the history is going to stop, which is going to help you when you come back in stock, that the last sale or the last uh, uh, um, uh, sale history or sales velocity is going to be remembered. That's why I do that. Now, I do not run out of stock more than two, uh, two weeks. Um, so it's been working. The people that I have worked with, they have done it and works with them. Uh, but do I have a proof? No, I don't. Do I do it? 100%. So that's something that you need to uh, do. It's the same thing as what we're talking about with Pernella. It's about changing the name. Is it really works? I'm not sure. Do I do it? Yes because there's nothing to lose. I do it, doesn't take much from my time. It takes a minute, hey, why not? So I do it and it's been working. I don't know if it's just, it's like pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy test, not pregnancy test, pregnancy bills, whatever, the, there's one bill that is like a sugar, does nothing just to make sure that everything's good. So maybe it could be, it could be that too. I'm not pregnant, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't know why I even mentioned that. <laughs> I am sorry, <laughs> but that's the only thing came to my mind. What a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, my question says, Vitran says, my question about tax documents. Uh, I went in setting, found the tax document, but I don't see any documents downloaded. Will, be, will it be available later? Yeah, it should be available uh, soon. I don't take care of that myself. I have my wife who takes care of it, so I'm not sure. Uh, I missed a question. Uh, where is it? Oh, sorry, Marcy Cinder. I, 
I lo I I didn't see a question. Thank you, Nancy, for uh, for uh, pointing it out. I appreciate it. Marcy. I'm sorry. You should have just sent me. Hey, forgot my question. Uh, I see a lot of questions. That's why Marcy says I have two product listing. When I click my company name on my listing, it sent me to nowhere. It should show my two listing. What have I set something up wrong? When you do it, you don't. Um, if you do the brand, it brings you nowhere. If you do the store, it brings you somewhere. But not bring you anywhere? I'm not sure. It should show you something. It should bring you something. Uh, no, if you do it, it has to bring you to your... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Let's find a product. And you follow with me and see if that really works. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. Okay, guys, keep asking questions. Thankful I don't have an appointment after this, so I'm a little bit cool. Cool, my man, cool. Okay. All right, let me share my screen. All right, so let's say this product I have, okay? And pay attention to products, okay? So there's two things here, okay? There is one of them, which is going to be your store name. This is your store name, okay? This is the store name. This is the brand name, right? So you don't click this, you click this, sold by. When you do sold by, it's gonna bring you to the store name, uh, the store. You click on the store, it's gonna find you all the product within the store. This is how you do it. Now, if I click on the M design, which is the brand name, here, it's gonna bring me to the store of M design. That's their, the, the catalog they have within that specific thing. So I usually only come sold by, find this, and I'm good to go. And that's how you do it. Okay, that's my face. Let me see. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, I hope that really answered your question, Marcy, but this is how I do it, okay? Now, what else do I have? I have a uh, tax document, yes. Where are you from? Az Aziz Dean Shukuri says, where are you from? I'm from Canada. I live in Montreal, uh, but I'm originally from Kuwait. I have been living in Canada for over 18 years. So I lived more uh, more my life in Canada than, uh, than uh, Kuwait, but I'm originally from Kuwait. I go visit Kuwait a lot. Uh, it's my family there, so but I'm here. I'm in Canada. So for those who are Canadians, you're in good hands. You're, uh, if you're from Canada, I'll be able to help you a lot because I went through the same struggle as you. It's actually, you know what? That would be a good video for my Canadians people. Okay. My Canadian people. Um, Canadian. So, you know, I'm one of the few people who are from Canada and still doing business in the U.S., which is really, really cool. It has different strategy, but it's all great. Um, Chinese food says, Sad, how many buyer info will be enough to create expandable Facebook ad? You need 100. If you have 100 emails, you'll be able to do a lookalike audience or custom audience from it. And that's gonna help you to be able to find more people within the same criteria. So you have this 100 people, 100 email list. That's why I say it doesn't need much. You need only 100. So even if you run... A Facebook ad and you do you have an opt-in page and you do a uh, you do a giveaway and they opt-in with the email you just need a hundred so if you have a hundred of them uh, you, you upload them in Facebook and the Facebook will be able to find other people who are similar have the same criteria the same age the same demographic the same uh, gender the same uh, uh, country whatever it is they're gonna find it and be able to replicate it. and slowly slowly with more emails you'll be able to find they find more uh, connecting data points and they'll be able to find you similar clients to, to yours which is really great great honestly um, but you don't have to use Facebook ads I used to do it in the beginning but now I have someone 
honestly, I don't have the brain for it as as good, you know. Um, Pranella says, thanks a lot, Sad. Yes, I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> yes, obsession. Trust me, you're not the only one. Even when I started, I was the same thing because I used to hear a lot of noise, a lot of things from other people and really gets us in a way where we don't know where, where to start or where to finish. Uh, I'm not telling you I am saying everything. I am the man. No, no, I'm not saying this. Definitely not. Uh, just try to narrow who you listen to. Do not listen to too many people because everyone has a different approach and uh, everything is going to be different. The same thing as a diet, okay? Every diet will work if you stick to it, okay? Kind of. <laughs> if a diet not telling you to eat pizza, uh, you should be fine. But if, and if, if it's a, a diet will work if you really uh, go through it and make sure you listen to the same person, make sure that it really makes sense. And I gave you the nine signs of FBA gurus, fake gurus, uh, so you'll be able to wear but... You know, that that's happens not only to you. I remember in the beginning, I want to do everything. Everyone starts telling, saying something. Because it's very easy for us as vulnerable people to get into, um, to get into, uh, we get mis mixed up very easily. Because we hear a lot, we're scared, is the first thing. We really want to make it perfect, which is not going to happen. Never is going to happen perfect. But we want to be perfect. We want to believe what people say. And people have sometimes no morals, uh, no self conscience to uh, worry about other people. They're just all about the dollar. Um, so that's what happens. But it's okay. What are you doing? Okay. But I'm telling you honestly from my, my, my personal experience, Pernella, you don't need to go too much that detail. It's not this. It's the product, it's the market, it's the reviews, it's the listing. This is the main things you need to focus on PPC marketing. This stuff they need to work on more than those little things. A bot is a very great clickbait. If I say, hey, a new way of making you $5,000 extra per month by just changing the name of your images, right? Thanks a lot, Sad. Yes, I got it. Thank you for your answer on pricing. I'm in private label. Thank you, Lisa. I know you were starting a uh, private label, but I didn't know if you were getting inspired by retail arbitrage uh, videos that I put up um, in our Facebook group or the images that I put in a Facebook group. With my daughters, we go uh, uh, retail arbitrage. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for clarifying it. I appreciate it. Uh, if I only have enough money for initial inventory, should I go with it even if I cannot pay for reorders? No, no, no. If you don't have it for reordering, you're going to get stuck. That means the listing is going to be open without any without any sales. That means your ranking is going to fall. Uh, not having enough money, that means... Is money lost? You're not going to be able to generate. Uh, it's going to hurt you in the long term. And every time you're going to have a product that late on Amazon, that means you're almost relaunching and re-ranking again, which is going to hurt. That's why I highly recommend you watch my video about explaining how much money you need to start uh, uh, Amazon FBA business and how much you need for reordering to make sure you're within that criteria. If you don't, I mean, I, do you mind if you, do you mind if I ask you what's your What's your uh, budget? Because every budget will be able to work if you have a little bit uh, of a strategy for it. So if you have a lower budget, maybe you find a product that makes less sales, maybe makes uh, 100 sales per month instead of 300 or 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 units. If you have a bigger budget, maybe you can go a little bit higher. So it all depends. It all depends on your budget and what exactly you want to do. Now, if you have available, a credit available, like for example, I say I have only three thousand dollars. I launched the product. I may I start making good money. I know it's making good money. Then I can maybe I can take uh, from my credit card. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you go ahead and put yourself in debt. But if you use it smartly, how I use. I mean, I'm not saying smartly. I'm not smart. <laughs> I just have the glasses. But what I'm saying is, if I have like for example the supplement, uh, I want to sell our funding and I got fifteen thousand dollars for it. So what I did. I asked only for 15. I could have got more, but I want 15. I got the 15. I replenishing the product with this money. And the 15,000 that I had in already, I took them and I will launch a new product or investment, new variation or expanding the brand. So you'll be able to do that. I'm actually going to do a video about solar funding and how you can use it. I think a lot of people, I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm just going to tell you what worked for me. And there's an option you're going to have there. It's the same thing as Amazon lending. 
and they're very very cool people so not have enough money to be able to start or start with something that you can't afford maybe retail online arbitrage uh, then do maybe a little bit wholesale maybe if you have enough money you go ahead and uh, launch private label maybe you can have a partner uh, maybe you can partner up with family or something with working with family is hard but hey you can do that as well if you want but credit is not is not bad honestly if you know how to use it but the problem because we are irresponsible i was very responsible with debt okay so don't think oh my god i'm smart no i was very bad with debt i don't know how to uh, very irresponsible uh so but now since i matured up a bit and i grew up because <laughs> i was a baby you know i grew up i started learning how what's a good a good debt bad debt G good debt that has low interest that you can replenish something that gives you more money and bad debt if you have it to spend on on stupid things like cars and stuff that depreciate and i had that at unfortunately at later age and i wish i was educated about it but it's up to you yeah placebo <laughs> yes i'm telling you i have no idea what i'm doing uh sometimes i say things just come out of my mind like whatever it's in my heart it comes from my mouth and sometimes i don't know thank god my wife is there to hold me accountable because sometimes i cross the line and i don't know i i don't even know i crossed it like really intentionally so i'm sorry if i said anything offend anybody but i promise you it's not my intentions uh, did you start as a sole proprietor or as an ink and what point should i incorporate i'm thinking that i should start as a numbered ontario ink i when i started i started a sole proprietorship i didn't know how the business works i don't know if i'm gonna make money i didn't know how much i can make i think there's a threshold of ten thousand dollars or something like that you make per month before um you declare them but this is do not quote me on this you go ahead and uh, uh go ahead and speak to your accountant go ahead and uh speak to CR, uh, cra um go ahead and look at um uh at your uh, regulation in your states and your city and all the stuff but i started a sole proprietorship when i started making money then i did incorporation then I'm building llc's and i did all that but gradual but start a sole proprietorship there's a lot of people do does a sole proprietorship um having incorporation is really good for taxes is good for liability issues if anything happens god forbid the company takes it the entity will get hit not your personal assets uh but sole proprietorship if you don't have money menjun kim and you look like you don't have the money the big capital do not spend a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks on incorporation especially in the state in, in uh, canada it's expensive a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks i think i paid fifteen hundred bucks for incorporation so do not do it right away make sure you first um uh, make the money can you also do a guide video i will start doing a little bit about retail arbitrage but if people ask for it i will do it more there's no problem carl says i'm creating a new listing i get the five six six five error since i don't have registered brand i read you can put na and it allows you to create the listing can i change it to my real brand afterward yes that's the case that's what they're saying uh actually as i said it happened to me uh with the new brand with the electronic that i told you and i actually had to stay with them for almost two weeks was it two weeks oh, i'm exaggerating uh, maybe i'm exaggerating but around seven to ten days okay i uh, back and forth with them until they were able to do it everyone's telling me hey you need a brand registry you need a brand registry i was like no we don't need it then they fixed it with me after i spoke to multiple managers and all this clack 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 uh, but now they say the newer trick which is i learned after i created my listing is basically put an na and once you create the listing and get registered after a few days you can change it to your name and it should be good but that's how i did it man uh hi uh kyle hove says hi everyone sorry i'm late today no problem kyle thank you so much for joining i appreciate you for being here thank you for all your support and thank you for invitation that we uh, that you send me on uh messenger i really appreciate it man it means a lot i wish i was able to make it i would really love to meet you and do something but i'm really in the middle of a few things and uh, i'm not sure i'll be able to make it but please if you have another invitation next time or something happens i'll be more than happy to join you and have the pleasure to meet you i appreciate you is it possible to scale bl without adding outside capital you can but it's going to be a little bit slow 
it depends on how much the product is making, how much is generating. So for example, uh, I have $5,000. I launched my private label. As we know in the first, it's going to take time to become profitable. Uh, at least three, three to six months, maybe until it become profitable. But anyways, let's say I get profitable. The money that I get in, put it back in, back in, back in. Once you, this product handle itself, and you see every month that actually there's money left over after you pay your supplies and everything, then you can start a new a new product. It takes longer for you to scale this way because using the same money that generating from the same product, which is really takes time. But the best thing is using outside capital to be able to grow your money. So what I did, once I saw this product is handling itself, I know exactly how many units I need to order per month. I know how much working capital I need. I asked for that money, put it in. I took the rest of the money and I invested it into a new product, into a new project, into a new uh, journey. That's how we do it. It's easier to scale with other uh, with other people money. That's why real estate people use other people money. Anybody who's scaling use other people money because now it's cheap to borrow money. The interest rate is very cheap. So for example, if I borrow the money at 10%, but I'm making 90%, that means there's 80% extra I am making money, um, which is really, really great. So for example, let's say um, I buy this for 10 bucks and I make 10 bucks of it. That means 100%. I get a loan for 10%. I'm making 100%. Right, so 10% of the 100 is gonna go to the where to my interest rate, right? It goes to the interest rate. Then I have 90%, which is my profit. So, for example, the loan I took 1500 was at 10%, and they charged me 1500 bucks for interest rate. I make every month from four to six thousand dollars in profit. So, 1500 bucks is nothing for the profit I'm making every month. So, within my first month, I pay the interest rate, and then it's just about paying back, which is I'm okay with it. I can bait within uh, four months or three months if I wanted to, only from the profit, right? So it makes sense to me. But for you, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the way you do it, man. And I think it's really important to do it if you can, if you know how to. Anyways, that's the last question. And I'm going to call it off. And But please, before you leave, subscribe, hit the like button, share the video, please. I will really appreciate it if you do. And don't forget to join the 100K challenge and our monthly contest. You'll be able to win a listing optimization maybe, or maybe you can use 30 minutes with me, or maybe you can uh, choose a Manny Chat specific, a small from Manny Chat uh, uh, sequence setup in your Manny Chat or a website or listing optimization, as I said, or creation. So please go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and uh, join and enter this contest is going to help and I will be more than happy to see you winning and improving in business and growing it uh, It's possible to scale bill uh, this we ask it. That's why we love you. Thank you so much Nancy uh, I have around 4k Canadian I found it hard to find opportunity in a smaller weight size and the product research do lead me to a bigger higher ticket item uh, 4k I think Kim you can start with Maybe 500 bucks with retail arbitrage. Get your feet wet. See how everything works. See how uh, the product works. See how Amazon works, how returns work, how seller feedback, how um, uh, email follow-up sequence and all the stuff before you jump in until uh, you learn more about Amazon. And that's my recommendation. But I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you guys find a lot of value of what we're doing. So I'll see you next Saturday, another live Q&A. Bring your questions. I'll have my answer for you. I'll give you my honest opinion. And I appreciate all the support and everyone who is joining me here every Saturday. And hopefully this Wednesday or this week, I'm going to come with a tutorial about how to increase your sales with using one tool, uh, by using one feature and one tool that's really going to help you to maximize your sales and gauge yourself to other competitors. So thank you so much. I love you all. Uh, keep grinding. Keep reminding the 100K challenge. Do not forget about it. It's not means 2020 is done. That means you don't think about it. Keep hustling. Keep improving. And uh, let's make it happen. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Take care.